I loves me some one degree mm, of Chunky P. Now, I just have to make a comment about Chunky B. Have you ever seen him looking so good? The panel then includes actress Lady Kazan, comedian Chunky B, and Playboy TV host Julie Strain. Chunky? Uh, what was the question? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to One Degree of Chunky B on ChunkyB.tv. Um, comedy. You know you love it. You love to laugh. We've got somebody special. We're going to talk about him in just a second. And I want to say stop for a second. Fuck. Why? What's going on? Because I'm going to fuck up his last name. Oh, yeah. Lack Wadera. Lack Wadera. Yeah. That's it. Lack Wadera. <laughs> uh, if you fuck up. Lack Wadera. You're a yeah. dick. I know what you're doing. I'm still recording. So. I know you are. I know you are. Lack Wadera. <laughs> Tell the cute blonde to be quiet. <laughs> Check this out. You should point the camera at her if you want ratings, <laughs> for God's sake. That's, that's, what, that's what we're working on. Forget my ugly mug. Point the camera that way. She's uh, hot. Marty, I'm sorry for fucking up the, the intro. Uh, I don't care. But we're, we're in a garage. We're, we're fucking around. Say hello to Venice Duck. John Henry Binder Christian Warren, thank you for the beverage that's taking over the America, uh, taking over the at least this side of the yeah, Mississippi. Yeah, they're having their one year anniversary on Saturday. Yeah, and are you going to be directing? Because you look like you're just not even pushing buttons. I'm good. Are we on a three shot already? Not yet. All right, I'm testing you. Hey, um, Travis Spencer, get better, dude. Our technical director um, is uh, feeling a little uh, fluey. So check this out. One degree of chunky B, chunky B dot TV. Make sure you taste the duck. Don't be afraid to get your quack on. Best sponsors we can ever enjoy. Gary Adler, say hello to everybody you know. Hi, everybody. I'm looking down because I'm doing the knobs today. Yep. And um, I just want to say, Travis, get better. And listen, folks at home, um, if you want to buy Travis a sandwich, you hit the donate button. We got to feed this guy. Yeah, and we've had lots of donations, which is really cool. We bought the kid a sandwich. Yep. Now we need some more it, Is he anemic? Uh, I'll buy him a sandwich. Uh, <laughs> Hold on. Have we even induced Marty? Is he <laughs> no, right? Yeah. He is. All right, sorry, you guys, let's just cut to the chase. Sorry, I'm I jumped in. No, no, no. no Marty, I, I, I'm worried about the kid. I want to make sure he has like a bologna sandwich or something. <laughs> and I can provide that. I, I got meat at my house. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know, I'm cutting to him. You, you cut to him. Say everyone, say hello to Marty. I'm sorry for fucking up the intro. All right, but I was nervous. We got a professional freaking comedian. I know, I know. It was my fault. It was my fault. Talk to me, Goose. Um, what's your about? You're from Boston, and I I want to let you know, guys. Everyone talks about Marty. Everyone knows him. Everyone knows he's got a great show. You're out of Boston. Give me a, a little bit of your upbringing. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I grew up. Uh, just outside of Boston in the Burbs. And uh, here's the thing. I started doing coke, uh, cocaine <laughs> at uh, 13. We're going to jump up. right in. Yeah, yeah no, at 13. Right My brother was a dealer, so I look like I was nine. I'm a small dude, right? At 13, I look like I was nine, and I used to deliver it on a bike farm. So, yeah, I started saying You were a mule? Yeah, I was a mule oh at 13. God. No one suspected. The first time I ever delivered it, I swear to God, in the parking lot across the street at the beach, right? Wilmington, Massachusetts, Silver Beach. I pull up and I, I hand the kid, a, it was, I don't I forget, it was a half gram, right? And he gives me the money, he's like, hang on, can you help me out? And I go, uh, yeah, what do you want to do? I'm leaning on my, on my huffy against this car <laughs> and, he, and he's all, squeeze my arm, right? So he starts shooting up. I never no seen way. him shooting up. I'm, whole, I'm squeezing, the, I'm leaning through his door, driver window on my huffy, squeezing this guy's bicep while he shoots up and I take the one I drive off and... Yeah. Anyways, 13 to 23 were rough 10 years. Rough, rough decade. Did you have, uh, did you have parents? Yeah, my dad left when I was uh, nine, and my mom worked on the weekend, so I was raised by my two brothers. But uh, he's for once four years older. He was the coke dealer, and the one just older than him was a savage, too. Like, they were, they were savages. I was raised by wolves. <laughs> I want to let you know, yeah. you still got residuals. You yeah. got energy, like, man, I, I didn't yeah. know you were coming in like this, even though I still feel bad about fucking up the intro, but check yeah. out freaking Marty. Yeah, yeah. Man. so, uh, so uh, I, yeah, so I always knew, like, I wanted to be a, a, two things, a professional hockey player or a comedian, and, and growing up in Boston, there's good hockey there. I knew by the time I was 12 with my mom's girlfriend that I wasn't going to go pro, because everything kept breaking. <laughs> I've had five knee surgeries, I'm like, all right, I'm not going pro. 
So uh, I want to be a comedian, but uh, you know, when I was doing coke, all I would do was uh, uh, stay up three days at a time, fight, and wake up in jail. So uh, I got sober at 23, then started my comedy career. Were you wow. funny on Blow? Yeah, you know, you know, I was more angry. I I, uh, I don't know why, but um, was you would think that'd be funny because I'm a funny, happy person. But back then, I was I always tried to quit coke. Like I was a weird drug addict. I I, I I was mad that I was doing it, but I couldn't quit. So I had a chip on my shoulder. So um, I wasn't more funny. I, I, I went the violent road more uh, when, I was, but, uh, when I was partying. Did you did stop you... everything or just the blow? Uh, everything. Because uh, when, I, when I drank, uh, I'd want to do coke, so I had to quit it all. One led to the other, yeah. Mm. At 23, when you quit, what were you doing? Uh, How did you make money? When I first quit, uh, I wasn't. I went to rehab. Like I, I was, was going to ask. I was like, yeah, no, I was on death's doorstep. I was about a... You know, a buck ten is like dying. Uh, yeah, so then I got sober and then um, got some crap jobs. Went to college after that and then started Where'd doing you go? stand up. So I went to Orange Coast College for two years, played hockey there. They had the oh, best hockey, ice hockey team, club team, but I had a bunch of rings on the team. Where was that? Uh, in Costa Mesa, Orange Coast College. Oh, so by this time you were at the Cali? Yeah, yeah. No, I, I moved out here. Uh, um, I moved out here when I was uh, 20. So I did, uh, and I was six months sober. Not because I wanted to be, because I got caught doing cocaine at work back home. And everyone started kissing my ass, right? So for six months, I'm like, oh, this feels good. All the attention, I stayed sober. Moved out here, fell off the wagon for like two and a half years and went on an epic run. Why'd you move out here? Huh? Well, <laughs> this is bad. Well, my dad, my dad wa wanted to move out here. He was going to move out here anyway, like a year later, right? Or a couple, couple years later, he had a little grocery store. I got to know him when I was 18. After I got thrown out of my mom's, I moved in. So listen, so what, <laughs> what happened was I got, a, my dad was going to move out in a couple years to, to California. I had been in a lot of fights and some trouble. I got in a fight with this one kid and I went overboard and, and um, I cracked his orbital bone and his eye didn't move. And my dad said, um, hey, I, I can't pay you way out of this one. We're moving to California. So then uh, I didn't go back to Boston for eight years. Statue seven, I've made sure stayed an extra year, right? <laughs> so I moved out here with my dad and I'm like, yeah. And then I started, uh, I, uh, uh, once, uh, once I got sober and cleared, cleared the cobwebs, yeah. I started working on myself. Uh, yeah. th then I started comedy. I can't believe you got such a nice vibe. Mm. I, I, I can't see you being violent. Yeah, I was just, I was just an angry kid. My, my brother was a fighter. Um, he, he actually toured. He, he went to China oh, and really? stuff like that. Yeah, and, and, and I used to um, spar with him and stuff. I was, so oh. you have gloves on. You've been in the ring. Uh, just with my brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. I grew up under him. What right. pisses you off now? Uh, let me see, what do, you, know, you know what's irritating? This is probably cliche and everyone's probably said it, but it, it's fucking mad. Like, the only thing that like, what makes me want to shoot strangers is when people go slow in the fast lane. Like, you get four other fucking lanes, just move the fuck over. Like, I literally want to shoot them in the back of the head. I, I, all right, all right. That and right, fucking Marty. parking tickets. Like, I, I think we should be allowed to shoot me and a maid. No doubt. That should be. But you know what I mean? Thin the, thin the herd. We're overpopulated. Let's start with fucking me to maids. I got a, a, I got a, uh, what's, the, okay, I got a speeding ticket yesterday. I was uh -huh. out way out in Agora, oh. and I'm driving um, south on the uh, 101, and I, I get on the, uh, the freeway, and I'm cruising at a pretty good clip. I drive a Toyota Corolla, okay? It's not going to get a lot of speed. Yeah, I yeah. look at my thing, boom, cop. I pull over, and there was nowhere, he's like, Find the next exit. So I'm driving like a half a mile and the guy's, and I go over, he's like, okay, park in front of the bus stop. This is on the speaker. Yeah, yeah. And he pulls over, he goes like, you know how fast you were going? I go, I couldn't have been going over 72. He said, like, you were going faster. I go, what lane was I in? He goes, you were in a fast lane. I'm like, hello? Don't call it a fast lane if I can, can't yeah. go over the fucking yeah. limit. We just call it the normal lane and then call the other lanes uh, you know, the slower lanes. Yeah, if it, you're in the fast lane, and this is not a bit, it should be. It, but yeah, I, said, I don't do anything <laughs> about this on stage at, at, at all either. Yeah. It just really fucking irks me. I'm like, dude, it's, I was in the fast lane. It's like, I know you were. You're going too fast. Then, 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 then you just, did you get a ticket? Know. What did he write you a ticket for? How, how much over the limit? 75. <sighs> 10 miles over the speed limit. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they're going to Enough about me. Time. First of all, one, I'm a total heterosexual individual. Mm -hmm. You're a cu super cutie. Oh, thank you. Like I appreciate energy. that. Thank you, you came into my home tonight, and I was like, bam. I, uh, I want to get to know you more, and we're going to do that right now. Tell me. I don't want to get goofy. Mm -hmm. I want to get to know you right now. Okay. 
your last meal. You're, you're, you, you, you kill somebody and, and it's your last supper. Oh, it's got to be a, a, a steak and, and, and some serious mashed potatoes. If you want to throw some lobster in there and do some lobster mash, I had them once. Holy crap. Yeah. Never heard of that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, steak and some serious mashed potatoes for sure. You get to fuck any celebrity you want. If I I get to eat whatever, you know, you know, you get to fuck a celebrity. I'll, I'll get to fuck. I'm like eat a celebrity. That'd be weird. I'd have to be. That's a start. Me. I mean, if to survive, if I had to, when we're out there in the frozen tundra and they pass first. Sure, I will. But uh, <laughs> um, let me see. God, uh, who who's smoking hot? Tom Cruise. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's into Scientology, and I find that unattractive. He makes poor decisions, not not financially and career wise. Um, uh. uh who, who, uh, Selena Gomez, she's she's cute. Yeah, yeah she's super cute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like yeah. that's okay. That's cool. is she is she not? Uh, we'll who's better? I, this Throw in a little better. lobster. And I you do You know, her. Marty, Marty, you're over there looking at. Uh, she's wicked hot. I know, I, yeah. but we don't have a camera on her. <laughs> oh, and this is Penny, we're, and we're we're, we're oh. interviewing her. Oh, right sorry, now. sorry. Yeah, I'm, so I'm distracted. You, yeah, yeah. Okay, check this out. <laughs> if you weren't a, a comic and you couldn't make a hockey pro, yeah, what would you be? Oh fuck! Uh, Sides coke dealer. <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, a motivational speaker. I can see that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's I can see that. I got a degree in public speaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I, I would, I would do that. I got a, I got a question. Please, Sean, hang on. Let me cut to me. There you go. Yeah. Let me get the handsome cam up. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, I, I, I am DB'd you. Mm -hmm. You got some crazy titles. Okay, can we <laughs> talk about that for a minute? Yeah, yeah. You got the born stupidity. Liver it up. Good dick. That's what I, yeah. I was just about to ask. Two men and a sex doll and <laughs> Christmas at Marty's. Do you do pornos? <laughs> what Christmas is going Mar on? I, what is going on, Marty? I, I don't even know what Christmas at Marty's is. Uh, Good dick was um, Jason Ritter, John Ritter's kid, did a movie and... Uh, they needed some hockey players uh, that could speak a few lines, and they came down to the rink, and, and uh, they had uh, they had a, a sheet at the rink. Anyone interested, submit your headshot. So, um, yeah, I did my first audition at a casting office, and then the second audition was at the hockey rink. So I got to skate around and play. And yeah, yeah, they handed me some lines, and yeah, I got to play uh, play hockey and get paid for it. Nice. Be careful with the term lines. Yeah, 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 yeah. Verbal. Words. Where was that Toyota Center? Um, no, no, it was Culver Ice Arena. It just oh. closed too. Yeah, I used to play over there, and, and they just had a, a posting up. Yeah, 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 yeah. My kids played over there for a little bit. Yeah, we tried to. What us. a piece of shit that place. It was <laughs> a piece of shit, buddy. It was fun, man. <laughs> All right, I'm settling in. I want to let you know I'm starting to like you even more and more. Oh, thank you. I like you too. You know, you're a big guy. bastard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're a good guy. Have you ever killed anybody? Oh man, no. Um, but he seriously not, not, maimed not someone right out good. here. <laughs> he caught someone on the street and beat the shit out of him. Ooh. Big big bodybuilder dude yeah yeah he, broke but, his little finger on his ass right yeah. yeah yeah look at that yeah he was uh he was poking in the, in, in the bushes I mean, it's a long story i'll give you the short one and my my daughter was babysitting across the street oh shit. and i thought he was peeking in in the window and i went over there and i told him to stop and i i, I was acting like a cop freeze he's like i'm not freezing boom 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 it, it got crazy but the beauty of it was uh Everybody in the neighborhood would get, gave me thank you notes the next day. Thanks for making our neighborhood a safer place. And I'm like, that's awesome. Okay, enough about me. He's out there with the cape the next weekend out in the yeah, corner. Yeah, yeah, with his baseball yeah. bat. Shaking people at bus stops. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. Whose backpack is that, kid? <laughs> where do you get your inspiration? Where do you where do you find the core of your comedy? You know, uh, it's, m most of my uh, best bits actually come from uh, my most painful, <laughs> yeah, yeah, my well, I noticed band. that. I know there's on your bits, but yeah. but on a day to day basis, how how do you find uh, how do you find the funny? Yeah, it, usually something will just uh, move me, or uh, you know, it, the funny thing is, it comes to me when, I, when I'm walking and listening to music, and I just let my mind go blank, and then uh, yeah, but it usually comes from real life stuff. It, yeah. it, it, if it, because if you're not passionate about it, like at least for me, if I don't care about what I'm saying, then it... it yeah, you're faking it. Yeah. And, and, and then, the audience is going to notice. Yeah. So uh, I, I try to talk about stuff that I give a shit about. Right. Worst moment on stage. Oh, I just had one in Australia. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is good. <laughs> this is good. You're going to love this story, right? So uh, I'm in Perth, Australia for the whole month. And uh, out there, the, you have uh, all these headline shows. And then off nights, they, they do a thing where... On open mics, they'll they'll hire a headliner to MC it, and, and they throw you a couple hundred bucks. And so, I'm MC in this show, and I got to go up and I got to do like twenty up front, and then I go back up after every open mic comic that I'll do in like five minutes. 
and and I'm a few minutes in, and it's dark, and it's, the the spotlight's really bright, and I'm I'm talking about dating, and I hear bang bang, this guy's making sheep noises over and over, and he won't stop. Right, five minutes in is early to start killing an audience member, but I have to. Because he's ruining the show for everyone. Like he, it's loud, and it's easy to kill someone making sheep jokes when I'm doing art, you doing a dating bit. So I crushed this guy for like six minutes. Are you good at that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm from you, Boston. We, we have that, you know, that, that kind of style. No doubt. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah, so no, I murdered the dude, right? And uh, I'm feeling good about it, and I finish my first set, and I, I get off stage, and the, and the comedy club manager comes bolting over. Looks like he saw a ghost. And he's all, dude, he wasn't heckling, he's retarded. <gasps> And I look over, and now I'm off stage, and I look, and this guy's in a wheelchair, and he's wicked retarded. He's like this. Not only that, he wasn't heckling. He was laughing. That was his laugh. Man, man, he's being supportive. And I crushed his quadriplegic. All he can do is, like, laugh and bobble his poor fucking head. And I just humiliate him. Like, he probably finally get the courage to go out, like, I feeling good about myself and, you know, dresses up and puts on cologne and someone does it for him. And then, he, you know, he gets out, and I fucking crush him in front of, like, 300 people. Yeah, and then I had, but the worst, I gotta keep going back on stage. So like, I had to, like, you know, call a town hall meeting and raise the lights, and we all talked about it. it ended up working out. Like, it was a big group thing. We ended up having a, having him and his buddy on stage and stuff. But yeah, that was a bad oh, moment because I'm just like the moment he said, I'm like, wow, I just crushed. Yeah, that is I, that's that's crazy. Yeah. Oh, how about your best? Um, when, 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 when you were in the pocket, in the groove. Oh, uh, um. You know what, uh, uh, just um, two weeks ago, I was doing, a, um, I, I hate to pre-read an audience, right? But I was, uh, I was out at the Edgewater Casino uh, uh, a few nights a weekend, right? And uh, the very first night I get there, so I do work like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I had never done it, and I get there, and it's packed, and it's just a fucking sea of white hair. Just a sea of white hair, oh, and I'm like, Jesus. oh man, I'm like a little on the edgier side, but I have enough material where I can soften it, so... You know, I go, fuck it. I'm just going to go out there and have fun. And I've been in a lot of material. I did a lot of crowd work and had fun. And uh, ended up destroying. And they fucking gave me a, They stood up for me. No way. Yeah. And they're old. They didn't even get it. Like, they got it. They did. I, I think a lot of them were like, they had done some living, though. The, like, the older people that had, had done some right. living. And I'm just like, yeah, never prejudge an audience. I, I had a blast. I went way over my time. It sold a shitload of CDs. And, you know, 10 minutes before the show, I was dreading it. Like, I don't want to do this show, you know? How many times you? Uh, how many uh, weeks a year are you on the road? Uh, for the last, uh, I average a little over six months a year. You what, single? What's guy? the big goal? I, mm -hmm. I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. No, it's okay. What's the big goal, Marty? I mean, yeah, you want a sitcom? Yeah. What are you doing? Big is goal: is a series regular on a network sitcom. That's where the the ton of money is. Yeah. It, it, it just raises. You could do stand up forever after that, and your fee goes through the roof. I don't have to do the one nighters. The the goal is to not have to do one nighters on the road. Go do theaters and big clubs, and then, you know. Right. Things like that. Do bigger venues so you don't have to do one, like a, you know, a saloon on a Tuesday. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So that's. Yeah, but you know, the road. Uh, There's no romance there, bro. No, no, no. I, was I to, love the road. I, I, I do. Was ask I'm single. Uh, Speaking of romance, I mean, do you, I mean, do you just like pull a chick out of the crowd? Um, yeah, I'm older and boring now. Like, I swear to God, like, I, I'm at the point now where I'd rather not listen to him. It's not worth it. I'd rather just tug it and watch Family Guy and go nod off. Clip and see. But yeah, you know, yeah. honestly, being a comedian, you know, when you're on the road, you do get to date outside of your, your normal yeah, level. Sure. Like, if I had a regular job, I, I certainly wouldn't have done as good. There's always <laughs> one chick who wants to yeah. fuck the funny guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the road can be, yeah. It's there if you want it on the road. You know something? Can you do 30 seconds or less? How'd you lose your virginity? Yeah, yeah. I, if it goes two minutes, I don't care. Okay. Uh, I was 12. I was fishing with my brother. What? Listen, <laughs> it's an awesome story. I, I was fishing, and this, uh, <laughs> my, brother and his, my, bro my brother and his friend approached me. I'm literally knee-deep in, in, in Silver Lake, and this 14-year-old girl uh, wanted to have sex with me and they go, come on, go do it. And I'm like, nurse, I was, I was kind of like goaded into it. So I literally, we went in the woods uh, down a motorcycle trail, right? And uh, laid down a blanket and, and with this 14 year old girl with my brother and his friends snickering behind bushes. Like oh that's my God. Did how you it all got kicked Did off. Did you have a pew by that I don't, time at all? I, I don't think so. I just remember being uh, uh, really nervous and yeah. <laughs> How about you, Penny? No, just joking. No, no, no. She's not on camera. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk to her later. <laughs> yeah, Penny. All right. Um, that's crazy. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Her, yeah. Have you um 
have you ever been in a relationship where you even thought marriage? Uh, I, I was in love once with this girl, but like, it, it, you know, it, it, she had issues too, so it was always on again, off again. Uh, um, she's the only one I, I would have ever considered it with, but I never got close. Like, it doesn't sound fun to me. I don't want kids. Rock star, movie star, any dead or alive celebrities, who would you like to sit down and talk to and have dinner with? Uh, Terry O'Reilly. He's a famous uh, Bruin left winger. Mm. He's my favorite hockey player of all time. My niece is named after him. He was a brawler. I, I own a tape. It's called uh, 101 over o O'Reilly's Best Fights. Just 101 of his best. Wow. Um, He's, just, he's a badass dude, a great hockey player. Still and alive? The best Bruin, yeah. Yeah, he played in the 80s. He coached um, the Bruins briefly in the, in the 90s and, and took them to a cup, but it was against Gretzky and the Oilers, and, and you know, they were just better. How's Boston looking this year? Looking really good. Uh, we traded away some grit, which I don't like. We got rid of Boychuk. Um, oh, yeah, he was good. And well, you're talking about Kings fans here. Yeah, big Kings. Uh, okay? You know what? I like the way Kings play, though. Kings and Bruins are very similar. Yeah. I, I root for the Kings in the West Coast. If they play yeah. in Boston, obviously not. But right. but I, I, I uh, like the Kings over the Ducks for sure. Yep. Okay. Uh, I don't mean to throw a curveball at you, but uh, Yankees. Fucking hate them. Hate them. And more importantly, I uh, hate Yankee fans. <laughs> Am I sitting with a couple? I don't no, give a no, shit. No, no, no. I'm a Dodger <laughs> yeah. fan. Yeah, no, I, I'll never candy coat or, or uh, you know. Chunky's a fake. Yeah, I'll be, fan. I'll be fake. I, I, I think baseball's a, a, a shitty, boring sport. And I, I, I can't sit through it, but I uh, still root for the Red Sox. If it's Red Sox, Yankees, I'll put it on in the background or, or watch playoffs. But Let me tell you something, Marty. You are, one, uh, an amazing individual. Thank you. And two, I've got some more personal questions to ask you, but um, it, it, it's got to it's going to be personal and maybe uncomfortable. Oh, okay. But we're going to do it right after this. Before we you, go, yes, uh, uh, tell the folks at home where they can find you, Marty. Oh, uh, MartyLaquadera dot com. Spell that for them. Uh, M a r t y l a q u i d a r a. I know. Doesn't it sound like a spelling bee? All right, can you? Tell? I just learned how to spell it like two years ago. <laughs> Chunky, how did you long. spell it? Uh, I don't even know where my notes he, he was using numbers and shit there's that squiggly I line in there I spelled it L-A-C-K W-A to get the Y phonetically out. phonetically yeah, yeah. D-A-R-A that, 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 that phonetically works yeah I can't make fun of that, that that's good yeah. and, and I can't the thing is okay here's my notes people all I said was Boston good dick uh uh mm -hmm. And, it, and how, how much it. you speak uh, about your honesty, about your past, and rehab. Those are my notes so right hey, there. Good you, know you are a great fucking interview. We're going to be right back after this. It's Chunky B, uh, Chunky B TV and One Degree of Chunky B and all that stuff. Bam. See you in a second. You guys have got to check out our brand new sponsor, Venice Duck Brewery. You want to get your quack on? Taste some of this. Hey, you guys. Music provided by Play Up Music. That's playupmusic.com. Laquadera. 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 Okay, he was here yeah. recently. Okay? Yes, he was. And then Penny Lane <laughs> asked him to go out with her. Yes. She I have a thing for funny guys. I'm not going to lie about it. But were you actually hitting on him? I wasn't hitting on him so much as I wanted to take him to a dance party and see how he was in that environment. Hang on, we haven't introduced Penny yet. I Are you not on camera? Yet. <laughs> Are you no, put her on camera and we'll, Are we'll you introduce sure? yeah, All right, we'll, ladies and gentlemen, Penny Lane. All right, uh, Penny, before we talk about uh, your field of awesomeness. <laughs> oh, thank you. I want to, um, let's get back to, you just saw one of the funniest uh, comedians sit in the garage of love. Yes. And you enjoyed it. I was watching you off camera. <laughs> you were laughing. And then at the end of the interview, and Adler, let's, let's recap this. Yeah. You threw him off with, hey, Come with me tonight. We're going to a, a, thing. a party. I invited him to a dance party, and he, and he said no. Out. He said no. He turned me down, and I never invite anyone out. <laughs> okay, Let's be real. Wait, were you serious? I was serious. There's a dance yes. party happening Dude, tonight. Dude, she was totally serious. I wanted to put him on the spot and see how he reacted in a dance party situation because comedians shrunk. are great on stage, but he I like... I saw him crumble. He, sh he crumbled. It took him a second to think yeah. of an excuse. He's never been asked out by a smoking hot chick. <laughs> Is Penny Lane on right now? <laughs> yeah, she's on. Of course okay. she's on. Okay. He said no to Penny Lane. I know. I man. got turned down. I feel like burned right now. You should. My right. self-esteem is like... Uh, you bullshit. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, one degree of Chunky B in the garage of love, chunkyb.com. We've got this... Uh, no, it's chunkyb.tv, but I say whatever. <laughs> Close.
We'll, we'll yeah. edit that out. Yeah, yeah right. We edit. Um, Chuggybeat.tv. I want to let you know um, Venice Beach this morning. Can, can we just be totally honest? Let's be no, real. Let's be real right now. We're not. We don't do we, that. We're liars, but let's okay. be real for a second. Um, I go uh, take my 13-year-old punk to meet up with Adder's kids at the Venice Pier to go surfing it, uh, because they had a school day off. And I went to get a very healthy kind of um, beer? vegetarian. <laughs> no, I a wasn't drinking. Beer. I wasn't drinking. Wait, I think you were drinking. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was there. He, I walked in and this you guy was drinking. You said we're going to be honest. <laughs> we're not liars. I mean, not we're not like the it. rest of them. Yeah. Okay. By the way, that's like 6 a.m., people. <laughs> no, it's not. It, it was, was 7.30. Eight. It was 8. Was uh, okay, over. that's fine. All right. So I'm, you know, I'm watching my son. Boom, he's surfing, yada, yada, yada. I'm talking to, you know, the, the people on the pier that you you know, Adler, yeah. more more than anybody. And so I go to Hanano's. I talk to my friend, Mary Alice, the bartender. She's, She's a, super cute. Yeah. Great so, buddy. I love her. Jersey right. girl. And everybody comes in there for these killer uh, sandwiches. Breakfast, yeah. yeah. Breakfast, burrito, whatever. Yeah, it's like four bucks. So this super cute girl, Would I, would, I want to be honest with you, Penny, I put you in a category of my daughter okay oh, so so okay i don't i put her in I, it's a mistress category for me not right. that young just when you know no, no but i, I but the, just putting that out there i want you know you're safe with me okay, okay. Right. I, I, not i'm your me. daughter apparently right. i'm not yeah. a safe person yeah so what i'm what i mean by in the category of daughter is i i um want to uh i i'll tell you you're super cute and tell you good things but there's nothing um because I don't want to be the creepy old man. You're not the creepy old man. Uh, I appreciate uh, that. <laughs> you're, Thank you. You're pretty so, creepy. Uh, so the super cutie, I, I didn't even hear that. I don't even want to go back to it. The super cutie comes walking in. She orders a sandwich. Sandwich. And check this out. First thing out of her mouth, bacon. I'm like, oh, I did this chick already. Right. Right. And she's like, hey, she's got to go. It's got to go. It's got to go. So I throw her a couple little like, no, hey, listen, I'm uh, a safe guy. I'm married with a you know a couple of kids. Did you throw the joke out? You looking for a husband? I'm a, <laughs> hus I'm a husband. <laughs> he said, "I think I'm in love." I think is what he said. Love. He said, "I think I might leave my you wife." You are not <laughs> the safe guy, are you? All right, we're supposed she to be bacon. honest here. I know, I know. I was. I didn't I was, say bacon. You were so unsafe. Life. And then so we started chatting. She eats. Uh, you know, she's from Texas, and she you know she eats meat. Yeah. All right, boom, we start talking. But check this out. She says it's to go. And they accidentally put it on a plate. And she goes, I think I'll stay. There you go. True story. True story. True story. That's not a lie. That's right the on. truth. So we start talking. <laughs> yeah. And we start talking. And uh, I say, I'm Chunky. I'm Penny. Bada boom, bada bing. And I said, what, what's your thing? And we started just unfolding information. Yeah. And right now, she's in the garage of love. Yeah. Chunkybeat.tv. Yeah. <laughs> I met her today. This yeah. morning, like yeah. 12 hours ago. Kind right of. Yeah. And she's a social guru and we're going to hire her. That's and that's right. the interview, folks. I'm no, trying no, no, not no. to get a job. <laughs> Apparently I'm getting lots okay. of jobs. Check this out. Check this out. And Adler, there's nobody more um, picky and defined as you. Yeah. Penny Lane happened to be in his garage for 10 minutes and you offered her a freaking job at the game show. I network. told her I'd get her an interview. <laughs> Right on. Right I think on. you offered me a job after five minutes. Let's be. Uh, if we're being honest, oh, I just you want said, her around the office. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even I'll care. I'll hang around the office for a fee. Let's, All right, let's cut right to the interview. Um, okay. You know, um, one degree of chunky B. You know what you saw with the interview with Marty. What yes. do you think you can do to um, make this? Can you blast it? Make it more popular. What do I think I can do? Give me uh, an idea of. Uh, of an avenue that you would take <clears throat> to get more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? More viewers. More viewers? Well, clearly I'm gonna make it the most popular <clears throat> comedy podcast in the history of the world, obviously. All right, but I mean, break it down, break it down. I know that's sassy and cute, <laughs> but give me some details. Well, I mean, if you want the boring details, Twitter, obviously, being hilarious and awesome and getting a big Twitter following so that people want to watch our comedy show, your comedy show. Our, she said ours. Art. Right I mean, on. I'm already a part of the show. Let's right on. Clearly. <laughs> I love it. I love it. By the way, Travis, it's cool. You can stay home. Who's Ooh. Travis? I'm sorry. Travis, stay. Was he? I'm just kidding, you Travis. Know, we love you. That's Can't wait fair. to but, meet but, you, Travis. Okay. <laughs> Benny Lane, um, when she's off microphone and off headsets, she's all business. Right now, she's being vague oh, and sure. cute. 
They feed me beer, guys. They feed me beer. This is what happens. But what 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 she's telling me off microphone is that the line of attack, line of attack, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. How long is it going to take to uh, get satisfaction on your ability to make this show more? How uh, long? Yeah, you, you want a month? You want two months? How long do we? Well, if you want to be real, it's a long-term strategy because yes. it's online branding. It's not an overnight thing, and it could be an overnight success, but it's about being really awesome online and being social and not just selling something. So it's about you're, you're a person, you're Chunky B, people love you, you go to the Venice Pier, your kids are surf rats in a good way, like mm-hmm. I'm a surf rat. And it's about being a real person that people identify with and they want to be a part of what you do. Right. We can't hit them over the head with advertising. Right. Exactly, because people are really turned off by that. They want to be social. They don't want to be sold to. So if you jump on board, will you take uh, the time to say funny things on behalf of One Degree of Chunky B? <laughs> Absolutely. My life is saying funny things. I mean... That's how you drew. Did you not meet me this morning? And I was yep. just talking about like... You were absolutely funny, adorable, and humorous. <laughs> and But I want... If we're going to... Um, jump on board if, if you're coming into the family of one degree of chunky b i just want to know how often you know the details maybe we don't have to talk about it on this podcast right now but do you you feel confident and i know i'm being redundant and you can stop me adler <laughs> at any time but do you feel you can take this challenge on i am more than confident i will take the pepsi challenge or the you know <laughs> the right card <laughs> challenge the Chunky Bee Challenge. Uh, I can handle this and I can take it good. to the next level. Because we're Ad- fucking we've got lame. This. <laughs> yeah. We are Ad- seriously Do you have any lame. questions for Penny Lane? <laughs> no. No, just archiving. I'm ready to party. Okay, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, check this out. Um, just so uh, more interview uh, questions. Mm-hmm. Texas, break Texas. down. Give me 30 seconds of uh, your, you still have mom and dad? Mom and dad are not together, but they both still live in Texas. Mom's in Dallas. Dad's in Houston. Okay. I go back. I shoot guns. I eat steak. I party with my boys. Like, nice. Texas is great. But Venice is better. <laughs> um, how done. old are you? I'm done. How old am I? Yeah. Irrelevant, but yeah, 33. You're not allowed to say that. 33. Don't ask a girl how old I don't look a day over 21. Do I? You look great. Are you I'm 33. 33. You I'm must 33. moisturize. You know, I surf. Surfing does a body good. <laughs> Vitamin D, a little sun. I'm just saying. All right. <laughs> uh, I've got a couple more questions and I'm going to wrap it up because Adler's over there going. Wrap it up, guys. I, yeah. already, floor already manager. I need to I smoke a joint. Five. Five. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that out loud. <laughs> Penny Lane? Yes, sir. That is your real name? That is my real name. Your dad? Break it down. My dad is a huge Beatles fan. So the story is my mom was pregnant and wondering about names and my dad was listening to his records. The Beatles have some great names, so they went through all the names, and they're like, Penny Lane. It's the first name. It's the middle name. We've got this. So that's that's how it happened. They almost named her paperback writer. They almost (laughs) named me Rita, which is horrible. Meter maid? I could have been Rita or Eleanor Rigby, which was a disaster. Oh, Eleanor Rigby would have been horrible. Oh, horrible. So my dad stepped in and said Penny Lane, and then my mom was like, okay, Penny Lane. Penny Lane's super cute. And there's a Penny Lane Records in town, isn't there? Is it still around? Well, there's a Penny Lane. It used to be in UCLA. I don't know if it's still there. Well, there's a Penny Lane in... In England, you know, there's a real. It's the well, street. Yeah, that's what the street. And I've been to the street and the pub. And if you've seen Almost Famous, the movie yes. that takes place in San Diego and Kate Hudson, who's super, cu- super cute. So a lot of people think it's from that movie and don't realize it's like a number one Beatles hit. So right. it's kind of a. <laughs> right. You kind I, of tell someone. Can I apologize for asking uh, your age? I, I don't, that's a gentleman never asks. I take that as a compliment yeah. because most people think I'm like 25 yeah. and I think that's great because that's I cool. act I like a child. I think it's rude, but honestly, how much <laughs> do we'll you weigh? We'll edit that out anyway. How much do I weigh? Yeah, we'll, we'll <laughs> edit that out. There. See what I did there? I can do that. I can throw it out there. No, I don't, no, I don't, <laughs> I don't do that. that. I was not make our fans I don't care. <laughs> so They're I all fat and old. Yes. After, um, after you leave the garage of love and yes. uh, the executive producer of love, Gary Adler, and I talk, and we say... um. Yeah, we want you to work your magic. Yes. Do you think right now you would say yes? Depends if you make me an offer I can't refuse. I mean, I don't know what the offer is right now. Sandwiches <laughs> and beer. <laughs> I do love beer. It depends what kind of beer. I mean, is it delicious duck beer or Venice, whatever? Oh, oh, damn. Damn it. She's good. Yeah, she's, she's good. good. She's really good. Right. Yeah, look at she's got the hoodie Holy on. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm right. OG style. I should have been born I haven't seen you down 
in the water. Um, I'm, I'm sure down at the I pier have. every morning. I just usually have my hood on. You know, sometimes I, I, I surf in a teeny bikini with a purple board. Girl. Purple oh, board, yeah. little purple fish. That's you? That's me. That's hot. <laughs> I'm going to say goodnight to this woman. <laughs> That's hot. I'm, yeah. hoping, I'm hoping going to say good morning. <laughs> if only you should be so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> One degree of Chunky B, Chunky B. TV. This is Penny Lane. And this is her um, first interview. In of if she many. Did. Yeah. It's she, one of many. Remember this face. Uh, <laughs> I have a face for radio. For digital. <laughs> I want to say thank you to the executive producer of Love, Gary Adler from FourEyedFilms.com. He's thank over you. at the Game Show Network and he's owning it. And I want to say real quick, and I'll yeah. say this on the podcast, thank you for last week. I didn't even thank you for walking me around and shaking hands over at the network. Oh, ah, yeah, dude. You made a big impact. You think so? Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. What happened last week? I mean, he um, he invited me over to his network and um, walked around and introduced me to everybody because I am a, um, you know, I'm pretty confident in the game show Yeah, they're world. getting ready to do Love 65 episodes of the of Idiot Test with Ben Glebe and I thought yeah. you would be perfect for warming that thing up. Amazing. And I want to, I, oh man, I, I just felt really good that... Uh, my wingman, my right wing hand man. Wingman, I love this. Just, Energy. just gave me a solid. And you have to see how, <laughs> how, how golden it is over there. Stay it's golden, so, boy. No, there's, <laughs> so kitchen, there's, there's kitchens and coffee machines. How's my um, office? And he's got a corner office. So with, you're taking me there, right? I, I mean, come I on. said I would. <laughs> you know, okay, I want to let you know. <laughs> Let's do this. I want you know he brought Travis uh, uh, there. He brought me there. He's not I'm afraid. So in. He's not afraid to uh, introduce, but you've got to have game. This is day one, Penny I don't Lane. know if I have game. I mean, yeah, you need game, I gotta Penny step Lane. it up. You can't just yep. be cute. All oh. right. I mean, you can. All I am is cute, that's it. I've job. got nothing. No, you surf <laughs> and you write and you're gonna take over the social media. And I you're might. Make and where can the folks at home find the you if they wanna, if they wanna yeah. see you on the Facebook and all that stuff? Ooh, I mean, there's a lot of things going on. Um, I do have a blog called mamasbeendrinking.com. <laughs> I like it. No G though, just drinking, because I'm from Texas. Okay, so we'll do maybe G. put that up on, yeah, Mama's no G. Mamasbeendrinking.com. Mamasbeendrinking.com. Is that one M or two? <laughs> one M, two it's, M's, M-A-M-A. Mamasbeendrinking.com. I love it. Um, and yeah, on Facebook, I don't know, Penny Lane, something. Yeah. Or, there's a lot of Penny Lane, so it's hard to find. Now, but why aren't you we'll hitched up, out. girl? Why what? Why aren't you hitched up? Are you a lesbian? Let's oh, you honest. know what's hilarious is I've run out on two weddings. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm Let's kind talk of the about runaway that. bride. Wow. We got something. A commitment yep. issues. Yeah. Um, people try to turn me into a housewife, and that's not really my gig. So Duh. doesn't end up. <laughs> they want to turn you into a housewife and a engaged? vegetarian. Have you been yeah. engaged twice? Mm, yeah well, I, yeah same dude different dude <laughs> different dudes um, but still really good friends with one of them he's great it just didn't work out uh, again boring. he wanted a housewife I know, we don't want I, know. I know boring boring the other one was a little crazy but it's fine because I'm just gonna be a surf rat and a writer and do whatever I want and you know hey, no, the no, marriage no, no, thing no 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 meh. you didn't even put us in that little thing you said surf rat I said writer R- and mistress I mean, she forgot mistress. I, oh, no, mistress no 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 uh, one degree of chunky B. Uh, oh, one degree of chunky B. Uh, social guru. Social guru. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, this is Penny Lane. <laughs> you are dialed into Chunky B. TV. One degree of chunky B. We, we just are... let you in on an interview, people. Behind the let scenes, it, guys. Let us know You're if welcome. you think we should hire her. <laughs> yeah, write us. Let they us should know. totally hire me, right? Yeah. I got skills. This is the international sign for write us, by the <laughs> way. Right, write us, write us. <laughs> Do this. We are D-O-N-E. You're amazing. Thank you for being <laughs> here. Love you, guys. Love, love, love you. Love you. Hey, this is Marty Lacodera, and you are listening to and watching One Degree of Chunky B. You know something? Uh... I don't know what's happening here, people around the country, but you're tuning in. You're listening. Our numbers are growing each and every week, and I adore that. Do not give up on this. Okay? We've got a website, chunkybeat.tv. If you're shopping, you do a little thing, drop in. Just drop in to my website. Go to Amazon and, and go through that. Twitter. Twitter? Is that what it's called? Twitter. Twitter. And then go to Facebook, dial into this whole garage of love. And if you want to donate, the donations go to a good cause. We've got to feed our technical director who's actually sick tonight. That's right. right. 
He needs more protein. Enough of that. But don't be afraid to go to chunkybeat.tv and do me a favor, spread the love in the garage of love. Say hello to a super funny guy, one of my new uh, BFF. Yeah. Marty, say hello. Hey, how you doing? Uh, go to chunkybee.tv <laughs> or I will come to your house and choke you. I will, I'll stab you with a screwdriver. So, and if you're gonna show up on Amazon, go through his website, because uh, that's how they track it. Don't yes. be an ass. Right Don't be an ass is what I'm trying to say. That's the gist of the message. Is this guy Boston? Yeah, is this guy it, Boston? Man. Is this guy hockey? I'll tell you what, he's such a non-violent guy until you put a hockey stick in his hand. I'll tell you what, though, oh, I'd like to make that game. t-shirt. What's that? Don't be an ass. <laughs> That's write not, that down. Right. <laughs> <laughs> go to chunkybee.tv, don't be an ass. There you go. That's, that's the shirt. Okay, we're telling, we're, we're, you've been telling great stories about uh, on stage, good experiences, bad experiences. Um, and, and you, you touched base on your childhood. Mm -hmm. Barely. Go, yeah, let's go back. Let's go, let's go back. When was the best of times and when was the worst of times? Best of times first. Uh, best of times has been uh, like uh, start about three years after I got sober. Uh, after I started stand up, yeah. But no, you know, no, you're, you're talking about 23. I want you to. Oh, best of years you, as a kid. Yeah, as a kid. Uh, anything 12 and under. The, really? Yeah. You know, I guess I had fun like 13 and 14, but by 15, I was already way out of control and trying to quit drugs. Were you going to, uh, it doesn't matter to me, church, temple? No, we were raised Catholic, and um, what a bunch of horseshit that stuff is. <laughs> Don't teach your kids that stuff. No, I I, I, I think Stan Hope had mentioned something about it, it, it's, it's um, you'd rather be face fucked by a priest than taught the Jesus thing. I'm just saying, it, it, it's it's more dangerous, that, that, that awful stuff. So I was raised on that uh on that and we weren't strict but um i had to go to ccd and it was enough yep. to give me uh, uh ocd i really did like <laughs> it did i thought it was good listen i swear to god i, I when i, I my, my confession i remember my first confession so i confessed that that i swore a, a, and i beat off and uh so he, he gave me he gave me some Hail Marys and some uh, uh, fathers to say, right? Yeah. But I'm like 10, so like or somewhere between 10 and 11, but I kept doing it. So I, I'm, I'm worried because I have a good imagination. I literally like think hell is real and think that I'm going to be on fire forever if I don't stop flicking my bean, right? So... <laughs> So uh, I, I I talk to him. I swear this ain't a bit either. I don't talk about this on stage. This is a bit, this is real shit. I uh, I talk to him like so. If I keep doing it, then I can't really be sorry. If if I'm sorry, then I wouldn't do it anymore. So it's kind of like an empty you know. And then I so I. And he's like, well, you know, and he gives me more Hail Marys and more Afas. I go, but what happens if I keep doing it? Like, I get to the point, like, I, they never want to answer the question, but it gets to the point where, well, if you keep doing it, then you will go to hell. And now I'm thinking, if I keep beating off, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to burn hell forever. And like, that, that thought was real. Like, I'm going to be on fire forever. So I literally used to keep my hands in my pockets. Shut up. Swear to you. But like, I would brush up against shit. Like a fucking warm, <laughs> like literally. Like, I, I, I thought if I kept my hands in my pocket, I'd just dry hum shit like that, some loophole in the fucking Jesus system, where like, hey, uh, no, the kid didn't touch it. He just dry humped a couple of fucking pillows and a teddy bear. The it kid's in, the kid's in heaven, no, right? Yeah, I swear it. to you, but like, so I gave myself OCD because after I did it, like I, yeah, I figured out after I got sober where it came from. It was the God's on your right shoulder and devil's on your left. And somewhere yeah. I heard that. So I would start turning everything to the right four times before I and walk to the right and all this wacky fucking shit. Next thing you know, I'm spending like hours a day like, oh, I gotta fucking touch everything with my right hand first. And then when I figured out what it is, I'm like, what horse shit? And I fucking stopped it immediately. I cured myself in a day. Every once in a while, I'd catch myself and then stop. Like, you yeah. saw the light? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> what? Yeah, and, and we weren't even like strict Catholic. I can't imagine how fucked up the kids are that actually have to go there all the time and, you know, dress up in a stupid suit and get brainwashed. Stop hey, teaching your fucking kids that stuff. It's you terrible. Know something I got to. I have to. And the reason why my kids. Oh, have come go to on. What, why? Because your parents taught it? No. Why? To be honest with you, stay in the will. My mom. Oh, like, that. Okay. If it's money, if you're being paid, but don't believe the shit. To pull them aside and be like, kids, this is utter horse shit, right? But keep it on the hush hush because Nana's a little fucking eh, and we need the fucking cash. Yeah. yeah. You want a new fucking, what do the kids play? Xbox or whatever? You want a new fucking, you want a new bicycle? Yeah, yeah. yeah yay, Jesus. But behind closed doors, that's fucking shit. Oh, my God. Go have some fun. 
Quit Mike worrying. Mike Kier was doing his uh, communion. Yeah, Let me flick tell you your bean story. as much as you want. Right. Mm-hmm. My boys do. Flick your bean. That's what it's for. <laughs> flick your fucking bean. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's totally okay. I'm flicking mine right now. Yeah. <laughs> See, I, I'm not wearing pants. So what? So what? Who's the judge? This is the garage of love. Yeah. This is the garage of love. It's aggressive. I'm going to dry hump something in here, and I'm not going to go to hell for it. I'm not going to hell for it. Mm. But hit the donate button, people. Yeah, hit that donate button. Don't donate to church. They don't donate even fucking pay junkie. taxes. They're the biggest cartel in the world, man. No Stop doubt. giving your money to Jesus, you fucking numbskulls. <laughs> Give it to your kids. Or donate it to someone who's making you laugh. We're spreading love and happiness, not fucking, you know, shaming people into fucking hating themselves. You know, stop with the fucking donating to church and give Chunky B some fucking money. <laughs> Jeez. No, no, no. Give you money, dude. Oh, my Sweat God. Right there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I, right? will, I will pray. Am I right, in though? In honor. No, 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 I will pray to you. I will. I will. Oh, my God. You they fucking built old people out of fucking money. <laughs> and then and then the kid's like, fuck. I only got to work till I'm 70. My fucking mom had all this cash and fucking Jesus got it. Fuck. What the... I could have been getting the hookers and eating sushi and going on trips, but no, they built a new fucking steeple with my money. Oh. All right, all right. I'm coming, Elizabeth. That's oh. good, man. Dude, you know something? That's the truth. That's it, the fucking It truth. is the truth, man. They you said it. Religion, you know what religion is? It's love and laughter. And you, you, yes. you said that, dude. And I, I'm not even making that up. I just caught that from you right now. And at the yeah. bottom line... It is, and you believe in that, and you're moving forward on it, and it, it's an awesome. I'm not going deep. Let's just stay in the fucking service. Oh, good. I want to know what Christmas was like in his house. <laughs> this boy, it didn't, she didn't really buy us presents. She'd just get drunk and wrap shit up from around the house. <laughs> and I was just an alcoholic, huh? Hey, I got a six pack of Miller Lite, but there's three missing. Ma! How am I going to get Susie Stevens drunk with three Miller Lights, Ma? <laughs> Jesus. My brothers yeah. want to watch. Yeah. Oh my God. Anyone yeah. ever beat your ass? Damn, Have you been like? Yeah, my brother Ed. Um, <laughs> no, no, I, I fought him like every day. We literally, he's KO'd me a bunch. Last time I was there, it's funny. I brought my buddy Luke Ashlock, who's a hilarious comic. You should have him on. Uh, I brought right. him. We were on tour. We're in Boston. I go to my brother's house, and and Luke's a boxer, and he's like, I want to spot your brother. I go, dude, he's a little, you know. I walk in. As soon as I walk in, my brother's like, you ready to go? He's a savage. He he throws a high kick. I scoop a single on him. Get on top. I think. Right, but he gets me in a guillotine. I'm like, I'm gonna pop out of this. I got my, I remember having my hand on his thumb. I'm gonna peel off this guillotine and I'm gonna be on top position. And then I woke up, like uh, I didn't get the guillotine off. He choked me unconscious. I was in there 30 <laughs> seconds. And, and I wake up, I like, I come to and, and, uh, and Luke leans on. I'm still on the floor and Luke's all, I'll I tell you brother, I don't wanna spar with him. <laughs> I'm out, I'm yeah, out. Yeah, I don't. Tell me about uh, the biggest ass kicking you gave. Um, you know, uh, when I had to move out here, that was a good one. Really? Yeah, the, that fight. It was so stupid, too. I was working at some shitty warehouse, and um, these dudes, uh, it, there was all kinds of uh, different ethnicities there, and, and there were some people from India that were really nice, and, and the, these guys from Lao wore leather jackets. They thought they were a little gang, and, and they wrote some crap about India, and I scratched it out, and then they wrote some stuff about USA, and then so I posted up a note like, hey, whoever wrote this, whatever. So I get socked in the eye, I get sucker punched at 2 o'clock break, and then uh, at 3.30, we get off work. My buddy's his boss, and I go, don't fire him till after because I'm going to beat his ass, and I'll lose my job if I you know, do it now. And he's like, no, i got to fire him. So I went out in the parking lot, and when he went outside, I, I, uh, I beat the shit out of him. I started punching him, and I kneed him in the face. And then he landed on his ass, and I kicked him in the face, and that was the bad one. That was the bad no, one. No, no, Is that no. the orb? Yeah, no, that no, was the, that, the, the kick. The kick was probably the one that cracked the uh, orb. Oh, yeah. The, the kid blind? Or are we good? No, no, just the bone. Um, the bone uh, had moved into his eyes. So they, they, they had taken him to uh, 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 a mass general, and then they took him to a, an eye and ear specialist. And then he was suing me, and then I, I moved. <laughs> right. I, okay, now it all comes together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The statute of limitations ran out. Anyway. Right. Yeah, right. yeah. I didn't go back to Boston for eight years. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, eight years. Didn't go home. That was. A, but my brother Ed would beat my. I, I fought him. Uh, um, you know, a couple hundred times growing up. I've never beaten him. Uh, I would only make them matter. Right. Yeah. All right. Change the subject. What are your hobbies? Uh, uh, ice hockey. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you still play? I, like uh, you get out there and play a little uh, bit? Yeah, just pick up now. Um, some comics play on Tuesdays at Pickwick. 
It's been a little bit. Um, prior to that, I was in the league at Culver, but I was just traveling too much. Yeah, uh, that's, that's closed now. Yeah, yeah, they closed it. Yeah, we tried to save it. It was, uh, it, it was a. Yeah. I thought they attempt. did save it, didn't they? Huh? I thought they saved it. No, they didn't. No, no, oh, really? no, no. It's gone. Yeah, I, pl oh. I played there for like uh, four or five years. Yeah, right on. Yeah, but huh. yeah, ice hockey is uh, my biggest hobby. Yeah. Okay. Outside of. Uh, oh, and I love watching. I love uh, mixed martial arts. Uh, I, I I watch every UFC. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Are you a fan? I, I you know I don't know the names and stuff mm -hmm. like that, but I I do watch it when it's on. I enjoy it. But um, who would you want in the octagon? Who would you go against? Who would, oh, would, uh, politically? Uh, uh, like any person in the world? You yeah. want to kick Tito's ass, right? Everybody does. <laughs> <laughs> like an actual fighter. Uh, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, outside yeah. the fighter. Um, oh, who would... Hmm. Who's a... Um, anyone on a reality show like the Kardashians? Any male, oh, on, the, any nice. male on that show? Or any fucking Jersey guy, Shore guy, any, any one of them? Yeah, one of the Jersey Shore dudes, because they, they, they seem chippy and they like to fight. Yeah, I, 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 would, I would get in there with one of them. That, that would be interesting. Nice. The situation? Oh, my God. Wouldn't you love to just poke him in the eye and kick him in the ass? Dude, he's, I, I mean, he's always going to... It gonna, sucks that they have money. He's you know? a goofy-looking dude. Oh, like, I know he has a six-pack, but that's his whole shtick. Is like, I got a six-pack. But oh, had you know, that guy I, I having a six-pack... I met the whole cast. There's nobody dumber. Yeah, you warmed yeah. up the reunion show. The reunion show. Yeah. I, I remember all those guys. Like, okay. actually, my couple buddy, times. My buddy, the comic guy, he, he, uh, he worked on that show, too, uh, as a producer for 495 Productions. Yeah, 495. Yeah. Sally. Sally. Yeah, yeah. Sally, Sally was his boss. Yeah, Damon, yeah. Damon Epps. Yeah, yeah. He worked on that show. He knows me. Yeah, yeah. yeah I bet he does. He, he, he's a hey, funny did you watch uh, Party Down South at all? No. Good, no. good for you. Do you watch any reality? Um, I, I, uh, I like to shit on it on stage. So I watched The Soup. And then and, and then find the the worst ones, and then I'll DVR them, and then and watch it so I can, yeah, yeah, nice. You ever written screenplays or anything like that? I uh, did a long time ago. I wrote one about the Sox winning the World Series before they won it, and then they won it, and Jimmy Fallon. Uh, <laughs> like that, they changed they changed the ending of the movie. I yeah. literally I had a script where they won it, and yeah, Kevin Millar. Like I, I had Kevin Millar. It wasn't a bad it, movie. Yeah, yeah, but um, but were you watching that movie just full of hate? Um, no, no, it was just, it was bad timing. Like, I still enjoyed the movie, but um, yeah, it was just they just put one out, and we had finished it, and we were just starting. To, we had already done the rewrites, and, and we're starting to shop it. So it had, yeah. that, there's so many of those stories. Yeah, it I mean, sucks, I, I don't. Right? I, we weren't close to selling or anything like that, but we had it done. We put the work in. Right on. Yeah. Well, can so, we ask um, in yeah. a couple of weeks where Marty's going to be, so the folks at home can go see him? Yeah, you got a, you got a schedule, Marty. What, what's going um, on? Yeah, if you go to my website, uh, I, I'm gonna put the calendar up. I know next weekend uh, I'm doing a set at the John Lovitz Club and uh, at Flappers. Flappers. What about the weekend after? Because that's when people be, <coughs> excuse me, be seeing. Oh that. shit! Uh, the, the weekend after, I'll be uh, I'll be on the road. Okay, I'll be in Oregon. Are you in town this Saturday night? This Saturday? Yeah. Yes. Um, I know this is irrelevant because we're. You want to um, you want to get up there and. and, and do something for free at the Scarlet Once Lady. a month, we do a comedy show at a dive bar. I would love to. I, 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 will, I, I will promise you one thing. I will fucking destroy. <laughs> I will definitely destroy. You cool. Promise? Yeah, guaranteed. All right, when we're done with this podcast, we'll talk more about it. Okay. I, I will definitely That's be awesome. there. Hey, do you know um, Brian Moreno? Brian. Nope. Okay. Nope. Sounds familiar. Guess huh? what? You're going to know him soon. Cool. Um, okay. We're about to wrap this up. Yeah. And I know, I know Penny's off. Microphone, you got ten seconds to come up with a question. I'll, I'll relate it uh, to Marty. Yeah. Yes, I'm single, but I'm retired. Unfortunately, I'm retired. That was my question. Oh. All right, Matt, boom. Okay, uh, Marty's who's off. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Penny Lane, who's off um, camera, said, uh, "I think she was hitting on you. Would you be interested in hooking up with uh, Penny Lane?" Uh, there's two kinds of men: people who are interested in Penny Lane and people who are lying about being interested in Penny Lane. <laughs> Which one are you? The one that's interested in Penny Lane. Yeah, but but I, I I wouldn't do that to her because I'm I'm old, lazy, and retired, and I wouldn't want to be the plus one at weddings and shit like that. I just want to show up for the fun stuff. Right so on. I wouldn't do that to someone. If you won the lottery, two hundred million dollars, what would you do? Where would you go? Uh, uh, yeah. um, I, I travel for a living, so I'm not interested in a ton of travel. I would buy a, I, I would uh, build a hockey rink. I would get some property, uh, get a house, and build a hockey rink, and uh, 
Yeah, that, that's that's what I do. I'd still do stand up because I love it, but I, I would play hockey and do stand up and eat steak. What town would you build that in? Uh, out here in L.A. somewhere. I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I love L.A. It's summer. Every day is a Saturday. Yeah, so, yeah. I love Boston. I'm glad I grew up there and got my personality and uh, there and all that. But I, I love L.A. I'm, yeah. You know, I wanted to ask. Do you think that 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 accent helps the comedy? Because I think it really helps. No doubt. I, I, I think for my style, yeah, yeah, yeah for my style. For I, sure. I know it always seems to me like the funniest guys are the guys that can deliver the material. In some strange little quirky way. Yeah. They got a right. lisp or they got an accent. I think the funniest people are from Boston or New York. Yeah, yeah. Just you know, and that attitude. And Chicago. There's a lot of good stand ups that come out of Chicago, too. But Boston, yeah, you got guys like Bill Burr. That dude's one of the funniest guys. Uh, Doug Stanhope. He's, he's like my favorite comic. He's he, awesome. He, he, he's from Boston. All right, check this out. We're going to wrap this up. We're going to put a bow on it. Marty. Tell them where, uh, your uh, information. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. go to martylacquadera.com or, or you can also find me on Facebook. And my last name is L-A-Q-U-I-D-A-R-A. <laughs> I almost fell asleep halfway through spelling my own name. It's I'm like, like, hey, yeah, hey, uh, it's, like an an it's like reading an eye chart. It's like reading an eye chart. I gotta change my name. We're losing our battery here. All right, with Chunky B, uh, ChunkyB.tv, One Degree of Chunky B. Marty, thank you for being here. You're fucking totally awesome. We are D-O-N-E. Thank you. Thank you for having me.